Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm gonna try to cut straight to the chase and get right to the point. 6.5 Creedmoor and the Boo Light drop. So I sight in all my bing bangs at 100 yards, but what about 50 yards? What about 200? What about 300? People say that the 6.5 Creedmoor is a flat cartridge, but it still has effects on it like gravity, just like everything else. So you sight it in at 100, at 200, it's not going to hit the same spot. It's going to be falling. And you see a deer at 50 yards, even closer than what you set it in. Hey, what happens? Where do you hold? That's the point of this video. Now, 6.5 Creedmoor, there are two different kinds of people, really. Uh, there are bench shooters, and then there are hunters. I know people that use 6.5 Creedmoor for both. So what I'm going to do for this video I'm going to go take us out to the range. We're going to verify the zero with my 6.5 Creedmoor hunting ammo. This is normal whitetail. Uh, this rifle likes this stuff pretty pretty good. 140 grain normal whitetail uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. Going to verify the zero at 100. We're going to bring it back to 50. See what happens. See where our hit is, where the impact is. Then we're going to go out to 200. See what the drop is with this setup, sighted in at 100, with this deer hunting ammo. Now that being said, um, then I'm gonna show you a bullet drop chart all the way out to 1,000. This 6.5 Creedmoor is the very first bing bang that I ever got hits on at 1,000 yards on a target this big. You know, Some people shoot a, shoot a 10 foot wide target and think that's a big deal. Not anybody can do that. Uh, but uh, a target this big at 1,000 yards, this uh, was the first rifle I ever got hits on with. Um, first time I ever tried was with this one. Yeah. You hear it? Yeah. You hear how long it takes to get back? Yeah. Yeah, I could, I'll say it wiggling. You thought I was lying to you when I said it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. But um, after we go to the range, then I'm going to show you a drop chart. Two different times. I'm going to show you... Um, with this hunting ammo. So if you're a deer hunter, um, you're using this ammo, 140 grain or something like it, a, a lead-nosed 140 grain bullet. The data should match up pretty close to what I'm gonna show you. And then also I'm gonna show, if you're looking at this from a bench rest perspective, I'm gonna plug in some match grade ammo numbers um, and then we'll show a drop chart with that stuff as well. But let's go hit the range, see what happens with this hunting ammo and see where the holds will be uh, out at the range. Should be pretty cool. but that was me on the trigger. Pretty good group at 200 there. Whew. All right, so back from the range. Let me get this out of the way. And by the way, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Norma Ammo. This week, November the 11th to the 14th, they are doing a Veterans Day sale on their entire website, which is normashooting.com. So, if you need some 6.5 Creedmoor or anything else, 9mm, 7.62 by 39, what have you, their entire website, normashooting.com, you can get 11% off anything on the website if you use the code Hootie Who. So y'all go check them out. They're doing a sale for Veterans Day 
Y'all know we appreciate our veterans. Go check out normashooting.com. Use the code hooty who for 11% off. But we're using this normal whitetail at the range today. Now, let's go over our results. Like I said, my rifle likes that Norma stuff. Pretty much all my rifles like Norma. But where are we at? Here's our, our three shot group at 100, which I'm gonna get my tape out here because that's definitely sub MOA, which is always good to, to see with hunting ammo. Uh, yeah, it's actually uh, a three quarters of an inch group there. So pretty good with lead nose hunting ammo at 100 yards. But you can see my hits are pretty much right on the bullseye, right? So where did my hits at the 50 yard shot go? You can see right there, as far as drop up and down goes, maybe a quarter of an inch difference. So the point being, if you're hunting, your rifle sighted in at 100 yards, deer pops up at 50 yards, just hold the exact same spot. There's not enough difference between 100 and 50 yards to make a difference if you're sighted in at 100 yards. So then we took it out to uh, 200 yards. I'm looking for my marker. <clears throat> so here's the 200 yard group and I was holding up here. So what's our drop there? By eyeballing it, that's about four inches, but I'm gonna tape measure the group again there. So oh, at 200 yards, uh, we got, let me lay it down flat here. We got an inch and a quarter group at 200 yards. So that's definitely sub MOA, which is impressive for lead nose hunting ammo. Um, but what's the drop? So the average hit, we're gonna say the average hit is about right there. So our average drop at 200 yards with 140 grain hunting round is right at four and a half inches. So at 200 yards out of my 6.5 Creedmoor, and that ammo, I'm getting just over a four inch drop. Let me measure that again. Four and a half inch drop. So four and a half inch drop. So deer pops out at 200 yards. I would need to know, hold over four and a half inches. Now, uh, let's go look at the bullet drop charts. I told you I was gonna run it out to a thousand with this hunting ammo. I probably wouldn't be using this ammo if I was trying to hunt at a thousand yards, but we're gonna look at the numbers anyways with the lead nose hunting bullet. Then I'm going to show you the bullet drop chart with some match grade ammo, some stuff that you'd be using uh, on a bench if you're out in a competition or something. Uh, that It's going to have a better BC and less drop at 1,000 yards. But let me show you those two drop charts real quick. All right, so here is the full drop chart for that Norma ammo. Hold on, I told you I was going to show you two different types. So this is for that lead nose Norma ammo. Then after this one, I'll show you with some match grade precision ammo that a bench rest shooter would probably use. But this is that Norma hunting ammo with the BC of 373, which is honestly not terrible for a lead nose bullet. The velocity and bullet weight there. And you can see I've got it zeroed at 100. At 200 yards, this drop chart is saying it should drop about 4.16 inches, which is pretty close to what we actually saw in real life. 400, just under a three foot drop. And then you can see there in the next two columns, the MOA and the mills, that would be what you would dial on your scope. So if you take a look at 200 yards, 0.58 mils you'd dial. Then we can go all the way down to a thousand with this ammo, it would be dropping 477 inches and you'd have to dial 13 and a quarter mils on your scope. Now keep that in mind with this lead nose hunting ammo. Now let's go look at the match grade ammo. It's got a lot higher BC, it should drop a lot less. So this one is showing the BC. This is actually Hornady Match 147 grain ELD which is what I use in 6.5 or have in the past uh, when I'm shooting 6.5 Creedmoor long range. Very, very popular um, for long range precision stuff in 6.5. You can see it's got a crazy high BC. It's a heavier bullet at 147 grains. If you go down at 200 yards, this one is dropping 3.8 inches. Remember the other one was 4.1 something. Then you go down to 500 yards, 53 inches. 
go all the way down to a thousand this one's only dropping 314 inches whereas the other one was dropping 477 inches so a lot less drop on this one and at a thousand yards with this match ammo with a high bc you're only dialing 8.73 mils whereas the hunting ammo we were dialing over 13 mils so this is definitely the stuff you'd use for some bench rest shooting uh that but that lead nose stuff would do just fine but you definitely need to know the drop on your boo lots when you're trying to stretch them out especially if you're taking them out in the woods after some deer there you have it guys there is the bullet drop video on 6.5 Creedmoor. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to check out normashooting.com. They've got 11% off with the code hootie who on everything on their site uh, for Veterans Day. And we appreciate our veterans. But we'll, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Comment down below. What do you want to see next time? Make sure you're subscribed. Appreciate y'all big time. Really means a lot you watching the videos. Catch you on the next one. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Thirty on six, ten mil, fifty cap. Don't make a difference, man. We like to shoot and make.